from helping people help themselves from people that just was still robbed and didn't want to put in efforts into putting efforts into themselves to heal themselves. He, you wonder why you got digestive problems and whatever, whatnot. Haven't really been watching you, so I don't know if that's gotten worse or whatever. But obviously, something is wrong with the drugs that you're on because you have more than too much time on your hands to be doing the shit you're doing. Period. So. I ain't slow. I ain't sending no blames. These are fucking facts. You could check them if you want to, or leave it the fuck alone. And this is all I gotta say on it. And if it gotta be hand to hand and one to one, and we make schedule the appointments and times and shit. But it ain't gonna be no sacrificing. It's gonna be some real clash of the fucking titans, war of the gods around here. The fallen and the motherfucking most high. So, anyways. I did a reading on my Facebook last night. It's just kind of, I'm not having nothing set up right now for a, 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 a nice video or whatnot. But, um, definitely, I'm about to call it a wrap with this video. I ain't got to bug my eyes. I ain't got to <laughs> be in the fucking bed. Oh my gosh. Most empathy towards you <laughs> in your ways, though. <laughs> uh, follow me in a blue Mustang, different cars, eh? Yeah, not stupid. God is like... Angels is like they ancestors, everybody just all up in this. Curving that nigga like a bad habit. I can't get no action like I used to, so it's like whatever. And I mean action like neat. <laughs> you know, let me defend myself. But it's been enough of that, so you know what I'm saying. And the friend, the, I got a few discs in my neck. I got compressed discs in my lower lumbar, so it's like really you fighting a handicap person, bro. Anybody that I ever fought and beat their ass, and you know, only had one girl like really sitting on me because she was mad I was giving her the business. And she hit me first, so it's So it's like, you know, choose your battles. What you what you what are you here to do? Or no. But it's not happening right now. Or ever. Go go back where you came from. Or so help me. So help me. So help me. <laughs> Put that thing back where it came from. Or so help me. Ooh, you going up the wrong way of the street. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Mm. God is trying to tell you something. <laughs> Don't go the wrong way of the street. So, um, be great. And just know, you take it too far. Consequences, repercussions. You already got something coming, but shh. Just don't make it worse on yourself. Just be fair about shit. And I'll be fair. Even though you haven't been fair. That's crazy. It's called forgiveness, for real. 
Don't get no more forgiven than that. That's what you want, though. Right? I've been in my own little motherfucking world, so I fucking thought these motherfuckers set shit up, pay people off. Oh, my goodness. It's like, really? You hate women that bad. And then you say men. No, nigga, you hate what you have not healed yourself from. Trust me, if I hated you enough, if I hated you at all, I do what it do. Period. And that's why I'm, I never understood being a gangster. From what I seen and what I knew to understood what the fuck a gangster was. What the fuck is this? Gangsters are direct and they use. It's an orderly fashion to this shit. It's an upfront, in your face, direct message to something, some way, somehow. And it ain't gotta be all la rah 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 rah. We can get rah rah like the sun, but we ain't doing no yapping. It's not a whole lot of talking. I don't do no whole lot of talking. You know, I've done I've done enough. And when just when it comes down to that point where you like, oh, what you gonna do? Shut the fuck up. But the, no, nigga, I ain't never had a pimp. And I've always said if I was ever a fucking slave, I'd be rolling around this bitch because I swear I probably wouldn't have no motherfucking figures or arms, no legs, no nose, no fucking mouth. I am not that type of soul. And I've, I've already known that. I felt that. And, and, and do it deeply. Effortlessly, I felt that down in my fucking soul. And... You know what I'm saying? We all are a reflection of each other, but it's just... Some things I don't have time for, but I can try to make some time for it and see what happens. But it's going to be all this and all that and da, 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 instead of like really getting down to it or just leaving it the fuck alone. Because really, I'm either in or I'm fucking out and I ain't fucking in with that shit. I'm up. And I'm stuck up. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's like, nigga, you, you talk about you don't like fat? Think I'm fucking fat? Nigga, I had fucking four cesareans. And I finally got stitched up the last time, which is when I had my twins, bro. What the fuck do you mean? I can actually feel my stomach this time. It's been years. I could not feel my stomach at all. I couldn't feel nowhere around the area where I got cut at. Right. And I finally, the last, my twins, and I told the doctor, fuck off. You cannot touch me. You cannot be around me. Do not even try it. I will. Shit. You gonna see me do some shit when I'm probably not supposed to. Uh, I don't know. God gonna get you. One way or the other. Cause he gonna get God. He already ain't got. I'm pretty sure. All of this is falling down. From the very start to the finish. It's like, at this point, who else wants something? Because God see and he hear everything and you cannot. And he feel everything. He know everything. 
so what do you think you're gonna get away with? And that's like, at the really, at the end of the day, it's like, shit, go be mad at God. Go talk to God about it. You already mad at your ancestors because they won't kill me? The fuck? Are you crazy? So, if you don't think the black man, and you know, not don't think, if you know your black man, you've been doing black magic and voodoo dolls, hexes and vexes and all kind of fucking bullshit, tampering with my car, fucking with my life, and it's coming back together, what makes you think you better than God? Even though some people may seem like, oh, it's messed up. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it is. I totally agree in some type of way. <clears throat> but at the same time, well, you know God is going to keep you going as long as you don't give up. You take a break and when you're ready to get back up again, he's still going to be there to help you. As long as you want to turn a fucking new leaf from an old one to a new one and you don't give up and you will keep going and you don't have to do low vibrational things to bring nobody else down to get back where you need to be for the purpose he made your life to be. That's what matters. My nothing else. So it's like really get off the pity fucking party. It's time to grow up in him. And I've always been the type of person I always want to do better. Like, you know, my mom just didn't know no better. But when I knew better and I grew better, I did better. I wished that I would have done it a lot faster, sooner. But everything happens for a reason. My healthier lifestyle now is awesome with me. You know, I've had people trying to pick on me about my way. I don't give a fuck about that. It's like, oh, you. I'll give you an example. I was working at this restaurant. And he was like, you know, eventually they was like, go back there. We need somebody to wash the dishes. That's not what I'm here for. So I helped out one day. And they thought they can keep doing it. And I'm just like, No. My body said, fuck no. I kept trying to tell my mind, okay, Mike, come on, let's go do that dishes. And it's like, how much you don't like dishes besides that? It's like, you're not getting paid for this shit. Not enough. And your body pain is going to be greater than the amount of what they're fucking paying you. And you stay in chronic pain all the time. It's not as bad, but it's like, is somebody else really giving a fuck about my ailment? My position of pain, it's not fucking ailment. It's like, if you know you're going to put more pain on my body, and that's going to hurt me way more or worse than I'm going to have to lay in more of the day to function is it worth it for me is my health worth me being in pain like is that work worth it and it was not so I said fuck it and I do it now more than I fucking have before and on top of that being disrespectful being disrespected no like, I'm so fucking tired. Just like I had to fucking tell the, the, the goddamn worker. I, You want to ask me, oh, you want a housing list? No, bitch. I want my land back. I want you to stop lying in fucking court. Can we start with fucking the truth of reality? This is what I won't need fuck people to do for themselves. So they won't try to fuck over my life and, and, and intervene in my fucking lane. And not help me in the way that you think I need help. Help me in the way that I want help. 
because it's, they're speaking to me as if I'm a totally incompetent mother as if I don't teach my kids different languages as if I don't promote and give my kids good health this is the thing if I was living in the car and still providing a vegan meal for my children if they are so called in a better placement of a home in the fucking adoption and foster care why are my kids not getting the same treatment and then for this lady to sit here and play this child of fucking mind fucking manipulation game that they try to fucking pull. These people is crazy. <laughs> but I see how they did my fucking mom. Or people, period. Mothers and fathers. And that's another reason why I made this the green print that I did. Because they want to keep people impoverished and they think of people as a fucking impoverished mindset without getting to know them. That is the most sickening thing that people can really fucking do. Spiritual sad, spiritual sad said she's done it. I've fucking done it. People have done it. But it's like once you realize what you've fucking done, you should do everything in your fucking power beyond that to do better for your at least your fucking self. And to start helping pick that person up from where they're at saying, oh my God, I'm so fucking sorry. I didn't know that you were saving up this fucking money or working so hard for this fucking money to have to invest it into your car to be smacked down just a little bit more from being stable from getting your kids. But I'm talking about you like you're incompetent. Like you don't have any education in psychology. <sighs> You don't have any education in being a stable person living in housing. I want my own fucking housing. I don't want to rent shit from no fucking landlord just so they can get pissed off when I'm on a fucking government program. Just so they can kick me out because the government program is going to hold their money. But not make sure that this landlord does not kick you out because they're in their feels about holding that money. And after they don't get that item fixed in such a certain amount of time that they will not get that money that they held from that month but from only that month forward but they take it out on a tenant and do you know how many people this happens to besides the fact that people being money hungry and want to kill their relatives or kill people people they don't even fucking know for money or even sacrificing to get a motherfucking whatever in the music industry. To get fame and fucking fortune. What? This world is fucking sick. And in so many fucking words, that's why Nicki Minaj is speaking out. Because you can hear it in her interviews of the documentary of her fucking life. She was like, I work so much. If I didn't have to do this, the photo shoots and changing the clothes, and I just had to perform, I wanted to perform. I would actually have time to have a family. I would actually have time to, you know, enjoy They work their fucking people to death that actually have talent and work hard for their shit. And for you to sit up here and think you got all the fucking talent in the world and you're the fucking best angel and you're close. You are God. There's plenty of fucking sleep ass angels walking around this motherfucker. Just as much as there's fucking computers walking around here. In fucking meat suits.
it's fucking crazy when we have so many fucking species here that did it's like come on now come up off your fucking bullshit petty shit your temporary fucking struggle that you're making a fucking permanent decision on when you have options and I know I have options and I know I have fucking choices and I choose to be a better person and people and things that I cannot fucking control I don't want to but there's people obviously that think they can fucking control me and do whatever they fucking think they want to for my life based off of fucking bullshit ass things that they have not taken their time to even try to understand and talk and speak in conversation with this person and say, oh, well, I have a job and I have this bachelor's degree and I don't really need to know this motherfucker. Just based off of this fucking paper right here, oh, she's fucking... X, Y, and fucking Z. This is from what this is, but never confirming with that person. They don't exist. They're a fucking child. But you want them to be a fucking dope? What kind of backwards ass society are we fucking in for real? This is a clusterfuck. I say, oh, you got anger. No, how the fuck I don't. I don't have anger problems. There's times when I'm backed off into a fucking corner or I'm like a cat in a fucking bag and I have to come up out that bitch. And then you be like, oh, well, damn, I kind of fucked myself because I could have really took my time here way in the beginning and still waiting how I got way the fuck over here. And I fuck myself up thinking, oh, let me just pound and drive this shit home because this is what makes sense to my fucking logical ass mind. What the fuck is logic about what you were thinking? Even if it was assumption, why would you just assume? Why would you not give a person a chance to try to reveal themselves? And even, they, and then not the, only that, it's like when they do reveal themselves, because I talked to them about what the fuck was going on. It's not like I didn't. And it's just like, what didn't y'all understand? What didn't you understand? And then for y'all to try to take my kids more than one person and more than one fucking entity has tried to take my fucking kids and it's been the fucking government and it's because of people I could not fucking control and I will take full fucking responsibility for, for my part. But that's between me and what my kids have to heal. In our relationship. Because I guarantee you, I'm so fucking hard on myself, it's not even funny. And God is on my ass too. Just as much as he's on anybody else's ass. We all have to go through our experiences. It's how we choose to go through them. I'm not sitting up here going fucking ape shit ass crazy trying to fucking blow the fucking people up that are doing this to me or have done this to me or whatever has done. Like, I fucking walked away so much. That is ridiculous. I walked away so much to the point where people are just, I, <laughs> I don't know. I guess they figure that, they think that I'm just not doing shit. I'm just a nothing else type of being, whatever mother. Um, I'm somebody's freaking mother. I'm somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, somebody's aunt. Somebody's soulmate, somebody's twin flame, somebody's twin ray.
more than five. So it's like, why? Everybody deserves respect. Even when I see a, a so-called bum on the fucking street. Some of these people get tired of trying. Some of these people didn't even get a chance to try. Because of ju- judgments mean like that. And want to shoot them off or not deal with them because you assume. But don't get me wrong, there are some, you know, there's some bad, just like there's some good. And I'm not saying every government official, official, every government or officer, or deputy, or, or store person is fucking horrible, but there are some fucking disrespectful people. And most of them work in the higher ups. And the ones that don't are ran by those. They jump in between. So it's like when people don't use their own mind and they just go off the mind of somebody else. Are do you are you understanding? Are you you're under the mind of somebody else? That's their ideology. I ideology. That is their thought. What thoughts did you gain up off of that? Did you even try to come up and make a brain cell fart to think? Oh, maybe that. You know, maybe it's something about that. Maybe I should ask her. But no. You have to understand that their their books taught them to work a certain way. And then men, especially men of, you know, African descent, Indian descent, brown skin, those that are considered black, y'all suffer the most because y'all don't know how to heal and y'all don't know how to forgive. And I said that too on my Facebook. It was an episode with Brother Panic. And this was like two years ago. Brother Panic was on the, on this show. Oh, this black petite lady with short cut hair cute little pixie cut and he was talking about you know the traumas that men go through and how men think that they, they, you know they're meant to not be emotional why y'all just as much as emotional as women are y'all have masculine y'all have feminine it's such an imbalance to male and females and and it's not an excuse for men for women or for men to bash each other. It's like growing up out of that hurt and healing from it is the only thing that's going to fucking change. When you really fucking take the time out to understand why the jail system, why the doctors... Why the medicine? Why the drugs? Why the different systems? Adoption, government aid, and whether that be social security or uh, financial aid to even um, housing. And then go even further into all those categories which entails what? Insurance. Somebody hurting for money is going to find a way to get what they want. And it depends on their mind frame and which way they're going to go. Are they going to go to kill somebody for money? Or are they going to go to work and build for themselves and heal themselves to get some more money? A lot of people take the easy way out. During times, and I would be like, fuck, 
it must be so motherfucking easy for people to do that because I can't keep up with that shit. It makes my head fucking hurt to even think about how deep and dark these people go and get. Just... Just to keep going, just to keep by, and and, and then just to get by, not even taking into consideration that it's so fucking much more easier to work together to heal. It's so much better to, you know, build a community where this person can fix this, and this person has this gift, and this, and we can all use those in a different implement of a system. Where things would be more natural. And people wouldn't struggle and suffer. But no, y'all don't look and act in that type of vibration. It's not going to be always easy to. But as long as you try and you start and you do it. And be patient. It takes a lot of fucking patience. It takes a lot of meditation. It takes healing. You want your first reaction will be like, oh, well, let me go rob a house. Let me go knock some person in the head for their money. Let me go rob this this single mother with five kids. She ain't got no man. She getting a lot of money from welfare. Hmm. And I fucking had to explain this to these people. Y'all don't see this. It's like, why, 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 that's why Tupac and Biggie and all these other, uh, Nipsey Hustle, that's why they coming through so strong and they're not playing with y'all. Lower levels, Selena, Aaliyah, Left Eye, all of them souls, all of those beings are help guiding and protecting us. Because they don't want to see the same thing repeat again. Why? It's 3.20 on the clock as I said that. Y'all got to understand these different systems and how you can get up out of it. They making fucking thousands of millions on the fucking penny of a dollar. Where y'all sit around and y'all could do the same thing and dominate. Fast quick in a fucking hurry. But as long as you continue to put your energy into negative shit, 